Hi, I'm Lucy, and this morning I noticed something new on my Google Plus page, Google Communities. It didn't take me long to figure out how powerful this could be for education, especially teaching and learning. So I thought I'd take you along as I tried to learn about Google Communities. So this new Google Communities is really cool. I hit Home, then I go to my Google Plus page, and then notice the community new on the left-hand side. The next thing I do is create a new community. I'm going to make this community public, and I'm going to give it a name. In this case, I called it Vital Learn Regions of Northwest Region, since I'm creating it for my Vital Learn organization. And I can choose here whether or not anyone can join or it's going to be moderated. I've decided anyone can join, and then I create communities. It gives me a whole slew of choices. One of the first ones that I want to do is to add a tagline. The next thing I want to do is take a picture or a photo. And I'm going to go look for a photo that I've created earlier. And I played around with the photo creation and added some extra transparent borders around the image that I had in order to make it show up nicely in that rectangular or square space that they gave us. So let me see if I can find the one that had the extra transparent border. Here it is. Insert. And I have to adjust it a little bit in order to get the middle of the picture to actually be the pic the uh, image. Notice the extra transparency around it really came in handy to get my whole section inside the viewable section that they give you. So after I select the photo profile, I have a few more choices. One of the choices that I have is to add categories, talk a little bit about the space or community I'm creating. I'm going to add a few categories here. Notice discussion is there, but I think categories are like tags, and I think a few extra ones might help us organize our post, stuff relating to meetings. We're doing a lot of work on Common Core. Maybe projects that come up. Finally, questions that people would really like some help with. We always share tech gems. I think those categories would work out well. About. Here you could write anything you want about your organization. So if somebody stumbles across Vital Learn Northwest, what exactly is Vital Learn Northwest? I'll write a little description in here. Almost ready to go. I think I'll send the message to a few key people and we can test this. In this case, I write my message in the top box. And this wasn't quite obvious to me at, one, at first, but if you look at it, it really does say comments here. So in this case, I picked a couple of the other coordinators And voila, my community has been created. I'm going to add a little welcome post. Notice at the bottom there are places like links and photos that you can add. I'll make this fairly simple. But notice here how the tags help me formulate what I really wanted to happen from this post, and I decided to go put it under meeting. And we'll add this to our meeting agenda. There you go.
this notification thing is really important. When I first created a community, I had no idea why, but notification was on and my phone and my iPad kept binging. And I said, what is that bing noise? And I realized that I could go turn notification on or off. Something you might want to do. Notice there was a start a hangout button. And these hangout start buttons or ways to start a hangout are appearing in very convenient places, including your community. There's a chat area. I'm going to enable that. And now I have created my very first community. Be sure to send me an invite to any communities that you create with Google+. Have a great day.